My name is Jens Meiler. I'm a full professor in the Department of Chemistry. I do also have appointments in the departments of uh, pharmacology and biomedical informatics. The focus of my research is computational biology. My research relies heavily on computer science, mathematics, physics. So um, what I am fascinated about is really to come up with novel approaches to biomedical research and these novel approaches are basic science approaches. So we, in my group, we have mathematicians, computer scientists, chemists, physicists, you, you name it, who all work as a team together to develop a new way to think about a biomedical problem. And what then fascinate, fascinates me, if I can demonstrate that this new approach really works out in the clinical settings. Another success story that I am um, uh, very proud of is um, my laboratory develops um, computer algorithms that allow us to engineer proteins. So we can design proteins that in that form does not, do not exist in nature. Treating diseases like um, HIV. Um, the HIV virus, virus mutates very rapidly and if you want to neutralize the virus, you need one antibody that binds to all of these forms of the virus. We can simulate that in the computer. We can design a single antibody to bind to all of these forms of the HIV virus. And then we work with our vaccine center here to produce these antibodies and test them. We believe will ultimately inform the design of a vaccine that then could protect people from uh, the HIV virus and therefore from, from AIDS. So this program is called Next Generation Vaccines. And this is precisely one of those interfaces where you combine expertise in different areas, in this case structural biology and big data, and make them bear on engineering new antibodies and new, new vaccines. And this is a program where 10 faculty with very different backgrounds and expertises jointly co-advise uh, these, uh, these students and uh, giving them the opportunity to become experts in two or three of these very different, different areas. And so we believe this is going to be critical um, to form the, the next uh, generation of scientific leaders in this field.